Alrighty, here we are once again on the InfoWars. Actress Eva Mendez announces Kellogg's brand boycott over ingredients banned in other countries. Well, let's get into it. In an Instagram post Tuesday, the Hollywood leading lady credited food babe Vina Hara with helping get the word out on harmful food dyes found in the American food supply and alarmingly children's breakfast cereals. I grew up on cereal. I still love it, but I won't eat Kellogg's anymore. After I found out that many of the ingredients they use in the U.S. are banned in other countries. Alright, so here's a Fruit Loops comparison, according to her, I guess. The U.S. version has yellow 5 dye, and the Canada version doesn't have it. Now, I haven't had Fruit Loops in a while, so I don't know if it has yellow 5 dye, but another term for yellow 5 dye is tartrazine, also known as FD and C, yellow 5, is an approved artificial food color that has been widely used in foods and pharmaceuticals for many years. So when she brings up the comparison that K Kellogg's Fruit Loops in Canada is healthier, uh, I don't know about Fruit Loops, but I've seen tartrazine in a few things. Uh, Mountain Dew, various Halloween candies, I think Smarties, there's a yellow candy, and other candies that are brightly colored, yellow, or other colors. So when I buy stuff, I try to avoid tartrazine as much as possible. I also try to avoid soy. Now when I googled soy, it says it's healthy for you. So maybe it's just me. Maybe I don't like vegans. But I try to avoid soy as well. Anywho, continuing with the article. The Food Babe appeared at a roundtable discussion hosted by Senator Ron Johnson. Republic Wisconsin, I guess, where she slammed the U.S. regulators for allowing the foods to be sold in the U.S. despite containing harmful ingredients that are banned in Europe. Ah, yes, Europe. The one thing they do good is banning all the chemicals. Now, if I was living in Europe and I had a choice between having harmful chemicals in my food or having... Uh, a high crime rate? I'd rather get rid of the high crime rate myself. How awful is it being forced by a jury or judge to spend a weekend in jail for calling a grapist a dishonorable grapist pig? Yeah, that's pretty sad. Anyway, continuing with the article, American food companies are making a fool out of us. They are knowingly poisoning us. It's time for this to stop. You know what? Before you buy something, you look at the ingredients and go, hey, you know what? I don't want to eat all this chemical laced stuff. And you just don't buy it. Now they're doing a Mickey D's comparison. Me personally, the only thing I get at McDonald's is a smoothie. Smoothie or whatever is basically crushed ice with concentrate juice. That's about it. They can't really screw it up and there shouldn't be a lot of chemicals in it because it's just water and fruit concentrate. As for their burgers, when you see one of their burgers in an ad, it looks so juicy and so big. But when you actually get it, it's like half the size. They completely Photoshop and edit their burgers to make them look better. That's one of the main reasons I don't go to McDonald's. Or another main reason. And I've known for a long time, yes, McDonald's, they have chemicals in their stuff. So, do I want a burger that's a lie, full of chemicals, and there's a 90% chance that they got the order wrong, or it's missing some form of ingredient? No thanks. She goes on to say that Skittles has lots of chemicals in it, yeah? Titanium dioxide, etc., etc. I think there's a yellow Skittles, bright colored Skittles, so tartrazine. I used to love Skittles, but 
I became more health conscious and I started looking at all the chemicals and I'm like, uh, no thanks. So I did myself good because one, I cut back on the chemicals, two, cut back on the sugars, three, saved quite a bit of money. RFK Jr. here, he talked about chemicals in the water, chemicals in the food too, right? And how they affect a person's brain chemicals, chemistry. Maybe with all the chemicals in the food and the water, maybe that's why there's so many people who think they're a woman in a man's body or a man in a woman's body or they're attracted to the opposite sex. The chemicals messed with their brain chemistry and now it's all out of whack. So in summary, do I think politicians should regulate what goes into food, processed food or whatever like cereals? Nope. Let the free market do its thing. If enough people stop buying this processed food junk, companies would have to change. Well, anywho, take care out there in clown world.